So, today we're gonna be making some cool shapes with the cast feature in Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again to take a look at how to create some cool shapes, like I just said, uh, using the cast feature, which is a pretty cool modifier. Uh, that I don't see people use too often. So we have default cube here. Default cube is getting his data shine. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, hit our uh, 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 select our camera. Hit Alt G and Alt R to clear its roca rotation and location, and I'll move that back there. R X 90 on my numpad to uh, to to rotate it like that. I'm gonna go ahead with our cube. We're gonna go ahead and add a modifier. This modifier is gonna be the cast modifier right there. Boom. We're gonna plop that bad boy on there. And you can see it's not gonna really do much. Um, especially because we had no subdivision. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab on my keyboard and hit subdivide. That's gonna add in the subdivision. You can see now we have a little bit of stuff to work with. If I change the factor, you can see we get some pretty cool like animation type thing. And you can actually go ahead and animate this um, to have some really cool type of effect. And I think we might, we may just uh, do something like that in a future tutorial in a second, um, in the next tutorial or so. But that looks pretty cool. But today, what we're going to be doing is making this cool, uh, like, star kind of thing going on here. So, you can see I have the fact there's somewhere around uh, 5 right there. You can change the cast type to, uh, to cylinder as well or cuboid. But, of course, uh, the, the sphere is going to work best for this. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to we're gonna hit apply on that. I'm going to go ahead and apply. And we're going to add another modifier of subdivision surface. And what this is going to do is subdivide it, of course. I'm going to bump that up to maybe three subdivisions on both the, rin the render and the view. Hit smooth shading on, hit tab to go into our keyboard. And using the bevel tool that we learned about in the last tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and hit control B and bevel these edges right here to make them uh, as sharp as is possible. We'll go ahead and do something like that by hitting control B and sc scrolling our mouse wheel up a little bit, something like that. Making it look uh, really pretty sharp like that looks pretty cool. Maybe I don't want it to be perfectly sharp like that. We'll go ahead and do something a little less sharp, maybe uh, like that. Yeah, I like that. It looks nice. All right, so now that we have that all set and done, I'm hit S to scale on our keyboard. Double tap R, give it a nice rotation. Maybe R, Z, maybe R, Y, maybe R, X a little bit, something like that. Zero to go into my camera's view. Just rotating it around, double tap in R, just a little bit like that. And now for materials, this, sh this uh, shape looks pretty cool already, but I want to go ahead and add some materials to boost it even further. I'll split my window into two by dragging this little, uh, these lines are down here on the left hand side. Split that in half, change this cube icon to the node editor, and we'll get rid of that left hand side, right hand side panel. Uh, in cycles render, I will go ahead and hit use nodes down here, we should see nodes pop up. What I want to do is, um, uh, I have this flipped around, I usually have the 3D viewport on the right hand side, but whatever, you you know, we're switching it up today guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change my viewport shading to rendered, um, and since we have that lamp, let me see if I can go ahead and turn that to a sun lamp here, select it up here, and then just go to the sun settings, change that to sun right there, uh, maybe I'll hit use nodes, boost the brightness just a bit, hit shift D to duplicate it. Double tap R to rotate, and uh, maybe I'll get something like that on the bottom as well. All right, so now that we have all that set up, with our shape, I want to go ahead and maybe we'll change the color to like an orangey kind of gold, maybe something like that, and I'll go ahead and add in a shader, mix shader, put that in right there, and then we'll go ahead and add in a shader, a uh, glossy shader, and plug that in right underneath. Now what we have is this pretty cool glossy diffuse mixture. I'll go ahead and, and, and lean this a little bit more towards the uh, diffuse side. And I'll change the glossy color to like a light yellowish color. Maybe like a light, light reddish yellow color. Something like that, maybe. Perhaps. Eh, maybe we'll go a little bit more towards the glossy side for this. Yeah, maybe sure. We'll change the roughness down to 0.1 instead of 0.2. Um, and that looks pretty good so far. What I want to do is, eh, maybe we'll go even lower. Point, uh, point, f point zero five. Yeah, that looks better. All right. So we'll do that. And now what we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in a texture node. This texture node will be Musgrave. Um, and we'll put this into the displacement of the material output right there. So now we have a bit of, uh, Musgrave texture on our, uh, sh our, on our shape here. Um, I will change the scale of this to maybe like, uh, two, make it a bit bigger. And on our glossy shader, I'll add in another texture, and this texture will be noise. And we'll plug this into the roughness, not into the color, the roughness. And then uh, this noise will, will serve as a bit of a splotchiness for our glossy shader, which is pretty actually kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and change the scale of this to like somewhere around 20, I suppose. 
maybe something like that, perhaps. Um, and then after that, I want to go ahead and add in a little bit of subsurface scattering. So I'll go ahead and duplicate our mix shader by hitting Shift D on it, uh, putting it right about there, and uh, plugging that subsurface scattering into the bottom of the mix node shader. And then we'll go ahead and put that on 0.5 back in the center there, change the subsurf uh, color to like a reddish orange, something like that. Looking pretty good so far. I'm liking it. I want to boost it up a little bit more though. So what we'll go ahead and do is we will go ahead and add in uh, a uh, Fresnel shader right there. Well, not shader. That was what was that? Add uh, input Fresnel right there. And I'll plug this into the factor of the mix shader. Uh, but not the one with the subsurf scattering. We'll plug that into the first one. Yeah, my bad. All right, so we'll plug that into the first one right there, and the first mix shader. And now we are uh, almost uh, almost in business here. I want to do one more thing, give it a little bit more depth. Just a cool thing we can do today. Hit Shift, uh, uh, sorry, Shift D right there to duplicate our um, our node and place that right about there. I'll go ahead and add in one more shader, and this shader will be a velvet shader. We'll plug that into the bottom half right there. And uh, we'll change the color from white to like a darker red. Maybe I'll even uh, darken the color a bit. Eh, no, we'll brighten the color again. Yeah. All right, so that's looking pretty cool so far. What I want to do, the last thing I want to do is with the displacement again. So we'll, we'll grab this guy and pull him out of there. He's kind of entangled in all those, those shader nodes. I'll uh, go ahead and hit, um, we can't use a mix for this. So we have to go ahead and go to uh, Converter. Nope, nope, nope. Add converter math and change that add to multiply with uh, the top value being Musgrave and then, of course, the bottom uh, being a, what do I want to do here? Voronoi. Voronoi, and we'll change it from intensity. Or maybe we'll leave it on intensity. We'll, we'll plug that into the multiply and see what we get uh, so far. I think I might want to change that though so we'll go ahead and maybe we'll do cells yeah we'll do cells and i'll change the scale to maybe uh 10 change the scale to 10 perhaps something like that so it's a bit cracky which looks pretty sweet um so yeah i think that's looking pretty good i want to be a bit more glossy though so we'll go ahead and uh we'll change we'll, gra we'll grab the noise texture and we'll get rid of that noise texture right there um because i want it to be a bit more shiny so we'll go ahead and go 0 0.0 0.02, so it has a little bit of an uh, edge, maybe 0.01 rather, something like that. And I'll hit the factor and put this, uh, you know, maybe I don't even want the factor, to be honest with you. I think I like the way that looks without the factor, yeah. But that that's definitely up to you, but I, I'm going to get rid of that for today. Um, and maybe I, wanted, maybe I do want to test the intensity with this. Uh, I don't know. We'll go ahead and we'll do this. We'll do this. All right. So I'll duplicate the multiply again. <laughs> and we'll take that Voronoi, duplicate that with Shift D, put that right under that multiply, and then plug that into the second value. So now we have uh, Voronoi and intensity. I'll go ahead, uh, cells and intensity rather. So I'll go ahead and put that on cells. So now uh, if we keep those two, these two on the same exact scale, then they, the cracks will lie on top of the, uh, in top of the little indents that intensity gives, which is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be it for today's tutorial, more like a, a really cool texture type of thing we can do here. I'm going to set up my camera. I'll go ahead and hit lock camera to view and I'll change my dimensions to 1000 by 1000 also, by the way, and we'll just, uh, pan our camera around till we get something that I, that we like here. Um, maybe one half a little bit dark, maybe the other half, not so much, something like that. Unlock it. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'll I'll sit right there and we'll just zoom in with the focal length. That is looking pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye bye.